Hi Lisa here again, welcome to my channel. I want to talk about procrastination. Sometimes we have certain things we want to do and make it a daily or even a weekly habit. For example, in the example that I will use, I will use myself. So I want to make these videos and post them once a week. And today I had the thought more than ever, I really can't be bothered. Maybe I could just skip today and just do it next week when I probably feel more like it. It's very easy to decide not to do something. And it's also very easy to decide to just do something even when you don't feel like it. I personally think that is our inner child and we have to learn self-discipline in a way. I'm learning to not force myself but encourage myself and remind myself of the benefits of regularly doing things each week and it's in a way it's like you have to talk to your inner child and encourage yourself so earlier on when I was thinking I'm really not in the mood to do this video. I don't even know what I want to talk about. I'm not organized with it all. All these negative thoughts started coming in and trying to stop me. And so I used what I'm training myself to do, which is to be consistent and more nurturing towards myself. So I use my positive self-talk to say, look, just do it, even though you don't feel like it, just do it, get it done, put something out there, and then it's done. I think the more you do this, the more you push past the feelings of not wanting to do something, the easier it becomes. Now I'm doing this, I'm actually okay. I'm like, oh, I'm kind of in the mood to do it because I know what I'm talking about. Although I, I haven't got a plan for what I'm saying, it's just coming straight out from my head. I think what can stop you is trying to have a plan. For me, when I restrict myself, it stops me from having any creativity and it makes me more resistant to doing that thing. So by having giving myself the freedom and letting things flow, I'm more likely to go ahead and do the thing that I'm wanting to do, if that makes sense. So this is just a video to encourage you or help you look at procrastination a bit differently. And just don't beat yourself up when you don't feel like doing something. Just think of it as your inner child and you need to encourage that inner child and just train them to do the things they don't want to do. It's like when you're younger and you don't want to brush your teeth at night, but your parents encourage you. They say, oh, your teeth will fall out. Whatever it is that makes you think, oh. So they tell you the, well, I don't even remember being told that, to be honest. I just got told, I just got it drilled into me how important it was to brush my teeth. And I remember my mum saying to me, go and brush your teeth. <laughs> So I knew it was something that had to be done every day. But obviously when you talk to yourself, try not to be so aggressive. And when you don't do something, you will get days when you don't do something. Don't beat yourself up. Just say, look, I, I realise I've slipped up and I haven't done what I wanted to do, but I will try again. It's like every time you fall down, just pick yourself back up. So this is just to encourage you to train yourself to push through those times when you don't feel like it. Once you get started, you probably enjoy it anyway. It's like exercise as well. If you got a program or you think of a program to start, you're before you do it, even now, like I love exercise, but sometimes before I do my exercise, I'm thinking, oh, I'm really tired. I'm not in the mood to do this but I will just do it. And once I'm doing it, I'm, I think back, why did I not want to do this? It feels so good. So it's just 
getting yourself started, just do it and then once you're doing it you'll realise that the thoughts were just feelings in that thoughts and feelings in that moment, if that makes sense. This is just a very short video. I'm going to be very experimental this channel. I'm just going to... Some videos will be like my last one about the video... Uh, the video... The front garden improvement. And then other ones will be like this where I just ramble a little bit. Or have an insight for you. So hopefully this will help someone. Please comment below if it has and any response to this, anything that you find that helps you to not procrastinate or to get things done. So thanks again for watching this video, it's a very short one, but I will, I am going to be consistent in making these, I'm determined, and I'll see where they go. So that's it. Thanks for watching, I've said this about three times, <laughs> and I will post another video soon. Bye!